decimals. What is decimal? The numbers expressed in decimal form, that is, numbers which contain a decimal point are called decimal numbers or simply decimals. The numbers expressed in decimal form, that is, numbers which contain a decimal point are called decimal numbers or simply decimals. 7.6, 8.5, 2.4, etc. are decimals. 7.6, 8.5, 2.4, etc. are decimals. A decimal consists of two parts. First, first one, whole number part. Second one, decimal part. A decimal consists of two parts. First one, whole number part. Second one, decimal part. A point or dot, a point or dot used to separate the whole number part from the decimal part is known as decimal point. A point or dot used to separate the whole number part from the decimal part is known as decimal point. The part of the number on the left of the decimal point is the whole number part and the part on the right of the decimal point is the decimal part. The part of the number on the left of the decimal point is the whole number part and the part on the right of the decimal point is the decimal part. Example, in 16.4, the whole number part 16, the whole number part 16, it is left on the decimal point and the decimal part 4, the 4 is right of the decimal point, point right side, the 4 is right of the decimal point. Now children, you want to decimal or number line. Representing decimals or number line. Here the first example, 0.7. 0.7 is more than 0 and less than 1. 0.7 is more than 0 and less than 1. Therefore, it lies between 0 and 1. Therefore, it lies between 0 and 1. Thus, to represent 0 0.7 on the number line, divide the unit term, divide the unit terms between 0 and 1, between 0, 0 and 1 into 10 equal parts, into 10 equal parts. And take seven parts as shown below. Children, therefore, it lies between zero and one. Thus, to represent zero point seven on the number line, divide the unit length between zero and one into ten equal parts, and take seven parts as shown below. Here is the number line. Children, 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1414. This is in 10 parts. Out of 10 parts, this is 7 part. This is out of 10 parts, this is 7 part. 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 0.7, 
sun. So this is zero point seven four. This is the out of ten parts. This is seven parts. The second number is one point nine. One point nine is more than one and less than two. One point nine is more than one and less than two. Therefore, it lies between one and two. One point nine lies between one and two. Also, one point nine is equal to one plus zero point nine. One point nine is equal to one plus zero point nine is equal to one plus nine tenths. One plus nine tenths. Thus, to represent one point nine on the number line, divide the portion between one and two between one and two into ten equal parts into ten equal parts and take nine parts take nine parts as shown below. Thus, to represent one point nine. On the number line, divide the portion between one and two between one and two into ten equal parts into ten equal parts and take nine parts as shown below. Here one zero one one point one one point two one point three one point four one point five. 
or zero point one zero. Next one, eleven by hundred. Eleven by hundred. Eleven hundreds. Eleven hundreds. Point one one or zero point one one. 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 Twelve by hundred, thirteen by hundred, fourteen by hundred, four, four. Ninety nine by hundred, ninety nine by hundred, ninety nine hundreds, ninety nine hundreds. Point nine nine or zero point nine nine. Point nine nine or zero point nine nine. Point nine nine or zero point nine nine. Okay, children. Thank you.